Hello dear viewers. You must be wondering what am I showing? What are these analogies or simulations for? This is the radio tracer simulator. This is the source organ example liver with an inlet and an outlet. And this is the target organ spleen for example. Already some amount of radioactivity has been taken up by the source organ. This will be an external source for the target organ inside the body. Let us understand what will happen if the outlet is opened. You can see that the radioactivity is reducing with time. If the uptake is again, then that will increase to depending on the organ, how it is taking up and excreting the radioactivity. Accordingly, this external source will be emitting varying amounts of energy to this target spleen. And so the dose this will be receiving will be varying. This target will be receiving varying amount of doses which will change with respect to time. And it will reduce and over the period as the residence time gets over the liver will be cleared of the radioactivity. As such we have to calculate the risk that this spleen will be taking just because of its proximal position with the infra along with the liver. And internal dose calculation also means finding out how much of radiation dose is the liver getting exposed to because of this radioactivity. For the therapy part, the concept of this dose received is having a different thing that is if it is the target then this dose that has been received is an advantage but where in case of diagnostic radiopharmaceutical the dose received should be minimal and compared comparable to the benefit risk ratio so the whole concept of MIRD that is medical internal dose calculations stands on this basis so dear viewers, in continuation with my demonstration, let me talk about the topic for today that is measuring the radiation burden in the first part. Before starting this, let me thank some of my viewers who have suggested this topic and expect me to explain about this topic which is actually very important and a serious one. And thank you for having Consider me and hope to meet your expectations. Now, let me talk about the significance of such a topic. When we are measuring the radiation burden or radiation dose, for the patient, the therapy's dose efficiency can be determined by getting the maximum benefit possible is it and how much is the calculated risk. For the patient, as I had told you earlier about biological targeting where the abnormal tissue has to be targeted and maximum of this radioactivity should go there and do the needful. And the normal tissue or the surrounding tissue has to be safeguarded with negligible risk. That is the ideal therapeutic radiopharmaceutical. So during the design, such kind of dosimetry or Measuring the radiation dose is important. In case of accidental ingestion, where a radiation worker accidentally or inadvertently ingests the radiation dose, then this kind of exposure, internal exposure, has to be calculated. Before that, obviously, it's very important that such radioactivity unwanted has to be expelled out from the radiation worker and by inducing vomit, vomiting or giving laxatives, giving hydration and all that. For that matter, even a misadministration to the patient 
calls for all such procedures or all such emergency measures to be taken. Still, we have to calculate about how much is the internal exposure when the such individuals have been exposed or have internalized this unwanted radioactivity. Now let us go for the types of dose calculation. First is external and second is internal. External dose in the sense it is not possible to eliminate it and that is why every radiation worker has a minimum dose limit that he can uh, as a, he may receive and that is because the external exposure in the radiation area cannot be eliminated by internal exposure only by safe handling practices also can be avoided and this has to be the way by uh, or aim of LRA also now in external exposure for that what is required to calculate is the F factor and K factor F factor depends on the radiations and the tissue equivalent the tissue that has the or the organ of interest of concern which is going to face this external exposure as for the K factor it is the specific gamma ray constant it is the ronchin that is unit of exposure i'm going to it later later uh, after this point i will come to explain these things and it is per unit time per unit activity at one centimeter distance where time is measured in hour and activity is measured in millicurie now this is the at one centimeter distance so this is the specific gamma ray constant which is very important to get the external dose calculations. As for the internal dose calculation, there are two types, classical and absorption type. That is classical method is actually the previous types where separate calculations were done for eta and gamma radiations. Gamma radiations are important in case of external exposure while internal exposure alpha and beta are very very uh, much of concern okay and now we have to go for the most important topic that we are talking about today and that is about the internal absorption method using mird method what is this medical internal radiation dose the phantom or the reference man or reference phantom the tissue equivalent materials are used to prepare or design this kind of uh, organs which simulate the actual living organ and or man and uh, this is used to calculate the internal dose uh, which will be received by a particular uh, organ of interest or concern before going to this more in details which will be in the part two let us understand these concepts of exposure absorbed dose and absorbed fraction. Exposure is nothing but the extent of ionization or the number of ions produced in the air or surrounding medium of the radiation source once it is emitted. So this ionization extent which is formed they, it is measured in the form of ronchin or coulombs per kg. So this is about uh, the radiation source. This is about uh, related to the source. Well, absorbed dose is related to the receiving organ or tissue or material or medium in which this energy is absorbed. That is in the form of joules per unit mass. Uh, that is kg and that has a SI unit of gray. Okay, now here this exposure and absorbed dose, I can uh, give you an analogy of our examination paper. The question paper is like exposure and the absorbed dose, whatever you write in the answer paper. That is finally going to give you the output. So, the examination can be out of 100 marks, but whatever you have written will be, may or may not be fully out of 100 marks, isn't it? So this is what you can take it as a comparison. 
to understand the concept of exposure and absorptors. Now here again we cannot leave it out there. Equivalent dose means in the examination suppose your questions are very difficult. The radiations which have been emitted can be alpha, beta or gamma. Accordingly the weightage is different. So the questions can be easy, difficult or different. Like they can ionize more, they can ionize less. So depending on that there is a factor which you have to multiply by this absorbed dose to get the equivalent dose okay, to the medium, to the receiving medium. And this here the units will be sievert, S-I-E-V-E-R-T, sievert, okay. And the effective dose will include another factor and that is about tissue weighting factor. When you are writing the answer, depends on how much is your density of studies, how intensely you have studied. Accordingly, you write the answers, isn't it? tissue weighting factor to be added to get or to be multiplied to get the effective dose absorbed dose for the medium now we have to understand about what is absorption fraction absorbed fraction it is symbolized as phi or phi and that is energy absorbed in the target organ per transformation of the radiation in the source organ uh, upon energy emitted from the source organ by transformation. So this will be a bigger number and this will be a smaller number. Rather depending on how much is the surface area which is getting exposed. So there are many factors on which the absorbed fraction depends. So this is the source as I have shown you the same example I am taking again that is the liver and the target region is the spleen where the radiations which are being received by the target will not be all of them but will be only the fraction that is by the fraction so this is how i have tried to explain about the main concepts in to understand the medical internal radiation dose let us talk about it more in details in second part okay now, before leaving you, let me answer the previous question about a radiation safety officer, how he determines the amount of uh, satisfactory decontamination or how satisfactory is the decontamination. For that, he has to compare with the non-radiation area reading of that uh, survey meter where there is no radioactive work. This decontaminated area should be not more than three times the background area. Similarly, not more than three times of non-radioactive or non-affected region. You can compare when you are checking the, uh, the level of decontamination of a person. So you can compare in this way and the radiation safety officer does his job this way. Now let me leave you with another question for next time so that you can get a good baseline to understand this MIRD concept. What is cumulated activity? What do you mean by cumulated activity and how does it stand significant in getting this internal dose calculations? Thank you.